Hey guys. And girls. Welcome to Yates Precision Manufacturing. I'm Jake Yates. I'm Ashley Yates. And we are the founders. Um, we started this company in 2017. Uh, it started as a very small, I still is pretty small, uh, job shop. And we now do about 50% job shop work, contract manufacturing, and about 50% of our own products. So we actually design and manufacture safety razors and precision shaving equipment. Um, it's kind of started by accident and has taken off here in the last year or two. Um, so as we walk around the shop, we'll, we'll show you some of our stuff. Um, we currently have three CNC machines, uh, one manual lathe, uh, some blasting equipment, some inspection equipment, but we'll get into that during the shop tour. So I guess let's go. This is our only manual lathe. This is actually the first machine that Yates Precision purchased. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer and a manufacturing engineer um, at my day job. I knew I wanted to make things. At that time, I couldn't afford anything, I don't know, big. Um, so I purchased this small Grizzly bench top manual lathe and I started making random job shop things that I'd pick up. And then I actually did, uh, I made wedding rings for a while. Um, and just whatever I could find really to keep me busy. Um, so this is our oldest machine. I still use it probably once or twice a week for modifying bolts or making some quick fixtures. So it's very handy. Um, still runs well. Uh, it's a pretty good purchase. Um, but yeah, this is our first machine. Getting to me, this machine had only ever cut plastic. I was actually the first person to ever put coolant in it or use the coolant pump. Um, so coming here, you can see an eight station turret, um, just a simple spindle, no tail stock, um, no sub spindle, anything like that. But this is a great machine, um, uh, it, it holds very tight tolerances, uh, runs great, it's very clean inside. Um, and then it has the older Mazatrol T. Plus. Um, I do mostly EIA programming, um, I do a little bit of Mazatrol, I'm starting to learn, force myself to learn, but uh, I still do mostly EIA programming. But yeah, so we've had this machine almost a year now. We do some of our razor handles on this machine and we do a lot of job shop work. Um, this machine's paid for itself time and time again already. Uh, yeah, this is our second machine. So this was our third machine and our newest machine. Um, we've owned this for probably about a month and a half now. So this is a new Haas VF2 SS. Um, and it's equipped with the fourth axis rotary and the chip fork holding tombstone here. Um, this machine is purely razor production. Um, these pallets let me run 12 parts on this side, uh, 12 op ones on the second side, and then I can get four op twos here, and then four op twos on, on the back side. Um, if I have this thing you know, fully loaded up, I, it'll run for anywhere between 18 and 22 hours unattended. Um, using tool breakage detection, sister tooling, things like that. This pretty much just runs unattended. So this is our newest pride and joy. We're still getting up and uh, you know, getting familiar with it and learning it, but it, it's been great so far. Um, you can see over here, we're running. These are base plates for our razors. Um, so that's the production we've been in on the new Haas VF2 SS.
This is our main inspection station here. Um, it's a pretty hefty size of granite. And then just our simple Minotoyo height stand. Um, this really covers pretty much anything we need to inspect, um, coupled that with you know, mics, calipers, uh, gauge pins, gauge blocks. Um, nothing we make really you know, needs a, a CMM or anything uh, quite to that precision. So this granite block pretty much covers everything. Uh, below that, we have our tooling inventory. Um, so these drawers are all organized, and then they're each given a letter and a number. And in our software online, we use Airtable. I have that database made. Um, so that keeps track of our tooling inventory. So this was our very first blast cabinet. This is just a, a Harbor Freight benchtop unit. And for the money, it, it works well. Um, and it got us up until about two weeks ago, it got us through. Uh, most of our razors get sandblasted. So we use this both for our razors and our products, as well as some job shop things. But like I said, this it was okay. It's, it's good for the money, but it has some some issues that then warranted purchasing this new scat blast cabinet. So scat blast are made uh, about two hours from here in Canfield, Ohio. Um, so it's made in the USA. Uh, we actually have a couple of these at, at my day job that work great. We've been using this um, for about a week now, and it's just day and night compared, compared to the Harbor Freight unit. So um, it's got a nice big window. Uh, has it comes with the vacuum system. Uh, so this has been a huge improvement and definitely increased throughput. Um, after we bought the Haas, the Pause, you know, it, it cranks out way more parts than we could before, and now blasting has become the bottleneck. So we had to, we had to grow there as well, and I think this has been a, a, a solid investment so far. Okay, so over here we have our cleaning and passivation setup. All of our razors, at least to this point, or most of them, are made from 316 stainless, um, which is a marine grade stainless. It's very resistant to rust. However, we still passivate all of our components. Uh, that removes any free iron or, uh, particles from the surface after machining. Um, so here's just a simple ultrasonic. Uh, this just has DI water and simple green. And then this ultrasonic here actually has, uh, it's called Citrus Surf. Citrus Surf. Um, so it's citric acid passivation. Um, it's much safer and arguably just as effective as nitric acid. Um, so, and it's, you know, readily available, it's, it's, uh, FDA approved. And then over here, yep, this is just a toaster oven, but it works very well. Um, this is a high temp poly fixture. We set our components on here, uh, and then just crank up the toaster oven, uh, and it draws our components relatively spot free. So yeah, this is where we do mostly our components, um, but also some, some contract jobs as well through cleaning and passivation. So this is where you will most likely find me in the shop. Um, I do spend time out on the machine shop floor. My main focus out there is just keeping the machines running. Jake does all of the setup and the programming. Um, so I'm in charge of more of the business side, packaging, shipping, all of that stuff. So when you come in here, this is my little shipping station where I package everything up. We currently use uh, these clamshells for our razors and other components. They are fully compostable. So um, we really like this product since we try to stay eco-friendly with all of our stuff. And what we do is we order this crinkle paper for just more like a decorative packaging. And we put this in and wind up putting the razor in here. And we actually have an insert that goes in with our razor that is also compostable and recyclable. We have a smaller sized clamshell, which we currently use for our razor stands. And then we have uh, this little cardboard sleeve for our handles. And we use these little ring boxes uh, for smaller components like our base plates. But yeah, so this is typically where you will find me. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our shop tour of our small shop here in Southwestern PA. Um, you can find us on Instagram. I'm at Yates Precision. 
And I'm at Ash underscore Yates Precision. Or you can head up to our website. It's YatesPrecision.com. Um, you know, shoot us a message. Email us. Um, we're, we're very responsive. So feel free to reach out. So thanks, guys.